Hello everyone, my name is uh, Hendrik Seibel. I work as a senior consultant at the Via Medici. And today the topic is the future is individual efficient management and selling of complex variant rich portfolios. So a short overview about my agenda, um, e-commerce and configurable products, um, EPIM and configurable products, then a short uh, example of a web sales configurator and a configuration integrated in a shop directly. Topic three, it's about the rule management, about the rule sets. And the last topic, topic four, is the integration in the PIM system of the configurator. So customer also want to procure configurable products online. What does that mean? For example, I want to buy an office chair. So a chair without a headrest, for example, but with armrests. And the armrests should be red, blue, black, or something like that. And my seat cushion material should be black and leather, or maybe should be blue. And then the leather is not allowed. So I need a, a rule, rule set for all these variants. And um, so we have many different variants. And today it's not enough to have 10 or 30 or more chairs in a web shop, for example. So the people involved in this decision process increasingly obtain the information without contacting the provider. Customers nowadays go online and look up what is available and won't create the individual products themselves. For this, we will see later an example, of course, where people purchasing decisions are made directly. So no extra call, no extra mail, no extra chat. I won't do it directly. And of course, optimum shopping experience, excellent guidance during selection, configuration, and purchase. Customer always expect a very good UI and the user guidance, uh, whether on the laptop, on a tablet, or on a smartphone. So it's very important to be able to customize the UI individually. individually. So what's the benefits of a PIM and the configuration integrated in the PIM? So you have the full control over all product data. You have the full control over the complete range of variant variants without manual maintenance of all variants. So based on the rule set, all valid variants automatically generated. And of course, control over the rule set. And we can transfer rules from other systems, for example, from SAP ERP or under, uh, other ERP systems. No problem. You can transfer it in our uh, language of rules. And how is this possible? With the help of our headless configuration API, you are able to integrate your solution everywhere, CRM, ERP, shop, sales configurator, and of course, uh, inside a PIM, any PIM. But in our PIM, it's deeply integrated. And you can completely personalize and customize your solution. So to provide product information via self-serve products, um, for example, with the Via Medici portals, you can automatically provide the latest product information um, and also media assets in our self-service product portal and media portal. Let's go forward. So my example is the chair. So we have to go away from classic standard pre-configured products towards to personalized configurable products. In this example, we have maybe different armrests. We have armrests without, we have a red one, a gray one, uh, and a black one. And of course, we have different um, materials, seat cushion materials, maybe leather, maybe fabric. And then of course, we have also different colors. For all of that, we need uh, rules because we don't want to maintenance all the data manually, all the variants, that's not uh, possible. And for that, I have a little example. I have a chair configurator in the uh, web. So I just jump to the configurator. And now you see, I just switch the language. And now you see, I have my office and home chair configurator. All this information, the marketing information, the images, and also the product model and the rule set is coming directly from the PIM. So I have one, I have one source, it's everything in the PIM. And if we go now to my, to my configuration, so you see I have my headrest and now I say, I don't want a headrest, I say without. And if you go down and we see headrest color is no longer available. And with this little question mark, I can see why. So I see the color red is no longer um, available because I have my headrest without. 
it's that easy and for all this color so i see okay i i want a black one so i can just say i want to use the black one i say use and now you see the headrest color is now black and the headrest is no longer able to choose without and now i have my question mark directly here and i can see the same so i have this full explain and use functionality for the configurator so we can not only configure from top to button or from button to top, we can start anywhere at the rules and the rule set will take care of all the dependencies. If I notice during the configuration that the value I need can no longer be selected, the explain functionality offers me to select the required value. And at the same time, the rule set takes care that the previously selected values are checked so that I have always a valid variant. So I can just go here, I can say I want without. I also can go to my accessory and can say I want uh, spare roads, for example. And now you see I have my spare roads and my roller and gliders are now implicitly selected because it's no longer possible to use carpet roads because I just choose my accessory spare roads. But you have at any time this functionality to say, okay, but I want carpet roads. And now you see I'm no longer able to use um, this on my accessories. And it's also possible uh, for sure to have a multi-selection for more than one value. And of course, to have attribute, a number uh, attrib attributes for a range inside the configuration. And now I can go, can say I want a seat cushion material with leather. You see the seat cushion material, no, just black and gray. And I see because of the leather, blue, green, and red is no longer possible. So it's very easy, it's very fast. Um, to do this. And you see at the top, I have my model code, uh, for example, for the ERP, and it's also freely configurable uh, how the model code looks like. So you can set up the model code, whatever you need. Good. Then I will go to an, a real example. I will go to the Rota Meta shop. In this case, it's Yokogawa. Yokogawa is a worldwide supplier of process automation, test and measurement equipment. equipment consulting services and uh, it's about the product line flow meters use of the products is for example in the process industry what's special we have a continuous online functionality of selection configuration and ordering but now let's have a look at the product so we go to our flow meters just open my product and now you see i have my different products pre-configured and I have filters so I can uh, change the measuring, I can add the wealth and you see the response of this system is very fast. I just open one, you see it's uh, the uh, available, the shipping, the price, as you know, and now I can add it to my cart. So I say just one, quantity one, and I go to my shopping cart and I have it inside. But now I want uh, not a pre-configured, uh, flow meter, I want my own flow meter. So I just go continue shopping and I can set this little flag flow meter custom. I have to log in and now you see I have my configurator integrated in the shop system. And it's not only a configurator, first step is the device selection. So I can choose a technology, different product lines. I have my process data like the fluid type. I can change the fluid, I can change the uh, formula, I have the temperature, the pressure, and so on. But for this case, I say just the flow rate is maximum 150. I just add this, and now I see I have four, four products that fits for me. And before I go to the configuration, I just compare the selected devices. And I will see, okay, these three uh, devices, and this one is the correct one for me, and I just can go and start the configuration and now you see i have the device selection uh, is finished and now i'm in the device configuration this is the configuration part and now i'm able to choose the connection size so for example one inch and now let's go forward and you see i can choose the process connection and i can add test and certificates and you see it's the same functionality you see uh, further in the uh, web configurator so my device configuration is done and you see there are not many attributes because I'm not the expert in this case. So I see not um, many attributes. The rule set is therefore that also non-expert can do this job, but we will see also the export view uh, of this configuration. 
So I start the scaling. Okay, that's fit for me. And I say complete the sizing. And now I have a summary overall. And now I can add it to my shopping cart. And now I see my uh, shopping cart. I see my uh, pre-configured uh, product. And now I see what I have configured. And I see it's available. I see the shipping and I see the price. But I can also uh, jump back because, oh, I've chosen the wrong wrong uh, connection size. So I go back to my configuration. I go back to the device and I say, OK, it's a half inch. And the rule set take care that the rest is also correct. So I have to choose the process connection again. I can choose another certification, start a scaling, complete the scaling, add it to my shopping cart. And I have my new variant inside my uh, shopping cart and can buy it directly. So we just jump back um, that we see once again the uh, UI. That's so it's uh, the UI can freely configure, but you can do whatever you want with the UI, uh, customize that. And now you see I have the model components, I have the mandatory components, and I have the optional components. Now I will jump to the um, sales configurator. Now I have more uh, uh, things to choose. So first step is the same device selection. So I go to the uh, uh, rotor mass and now see different product lines. You see it's the same flow type, temperature, pressure. It's the same behavior, but I go to 150 also and I want to choose these two to compare it. Okay, this one is the better one. Just start the configuration and now you see it's the same UI, model components, mandatory and optional components, but I have to do a lot of more uh, attribute and attribute values because now I'm an expert, I'm a sales guy and I know what I do. And you see it's the same functionality. I have this little question mark and it's no longer uh, available. So I click on the question mark and I see the value and I see the blocking value. And in this case, you'll see the reason um, it's uh, transformed from SAP. The rule set is transformed from SAP to our uh, rule language uh, full automatically. Yeah, it's the same uh, behavior. I can go forward, can select all my um, mandatory fields, but this is it for the moment. I will jump back to the presentation, just a moment. So, so we have seen the chair configurator. We have seen the uh, integration in the shop, and now it's about the rule management. And for that, we have an own application. In this case, it's uh, about the chair and you see, I have my seat cushion with different uh, um, attribute values, fabric, leather, vinyl. I have my seat cushion color and so on. And you see this model is imported and you're not able to add attributes or I'm not able to change the feature and feature values because it's coming all from the EPIM. But in this case, I'm able to change to the rules tab. And now you see I have rule number one and I can add also a new rule. So I just click on add rule. I just can add a name for my rule, can say which features and attributes are necessary. And now I'm able with this UI to uh, create my rule. So I can say a seat cushion, a leather uh, is not allowed with seat cushion color red and a seat cushion color blue or seat cushion color blue. I can add a description, uh, leather is not allowed with. You can do it manually, uh, this description or full automatically. Then I can save my rule and I have my rules directly in my um, uh, under rules in my rule management. But it's also possible, of course, to open an existing rule, rule number one. And we also have an expert mode where you can write the whole rule without an UI. You can uh, write the whole um, whole rule in our own constraint language. That's also possible. And it's also possible to import from uh, other systems uh, models, of course, or to add a new um, model, because if you have the PIM or have another system and you want to begin from scratch, that's also possible with this application. EPIM integration. So we have seen this formula in the web shop, in the web configurator, now we see it directly in the PIM. This is the PIM. And you see I have the functionality to say, hey, PIM and configurator, please show me all valid variants based on my rule set. And in this case, I have limited to 50,000. And you see I have 50,000 valid variants. But I al uh, can also go, can say, I want to pre-select the headrest without seat cushion material leather and my seat cushion color black. 
And now I can also say um, EPIM and configurator, please show me all valid variants. And now you see I have only 60,912 product variants left. That's all possible. And you see the same functionality because it's deeply integrated. So I have the same functionality. I choose headrest without, and I see my headrest color is no longer um, available. And I have also this little question mark and same functionality. I see the non-selectable attribute value. I see my reason. In this case, it's uh, exclude headrest color one is my, my rule behind. And I see which uh, attribute is responsible for that. Because I've choose without, I'm no longer able to choose a, a headrest color. It's that easy and that fast. And of course, also the use functionality to use red because I want the headrest color in red. And now I'm not longer, uh, and now without is not longer available by headrest. It's that easy. But same way, functionality of the uh, question mark is there. And I see, OK, without is no longer available because I have the headrest color red. And it's also possible, of course, to um, configure one valid variant till the end and generate all this variant direct in the EPIM. So you can pre-select values and you have your 60,000 valid variants. And now you can say with one click, I want to generate all these variants in my PIM or I just want to have the first 10, first uh, 60 and so on. And based on this product model and rule set, I also can create a sales configurator or web configurator. The rev configurator with the uh, chair is all the data coming from PIM, the rule set coming from PIM. So you can just create your data as you know, your product data in the PIM, and then you can choose our uh, headless configuration API and can use it everywhere, wherever you want. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for your time.